What's up, family? Trio here, and we all want to know, why does the government continue to lie to us? I mean, they have a mouthful of lies. I mean, come on now, they lie about social security programs, Medicare programs, and other entitlement programs as well. And they also lie about UFOs being flown by aliens. And some people think that they lie to us about COVID-19, but that's another story for another day. But anyways, I don't have the answers, but what I do have is a new bill on the table as of Friday in regards to our social security recipients and Medicare recipients. Let me know if this plan sounds good or not to you. But anyways, hey, let's go ahead and talk about, but first, you already know what to do. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel as well as hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Now let's go ahead and start with the video. Guys, starting off with some breaking news that happened on Friday, the United States ended up sending some of their jet fighters up in the sky to end up shooting down what they are calling a flying object. Yes, guys, it says right here that the U.S. jets shot down an object flying at around 40,000 feet over the Alaska area. Now, the object was much smaller than the huge Chinese spy balloon that we saw earlier this week that crossed over the United States for at least a week. Uh, this particular item they are saying that was pretty much the size of a small car. Now, if you don't recall, the Chinese spy Spy balloon was the size of three buses. So definitely uh, a different perspective of what's flying over us uh, as we see. But anyways, guys, this is very alarming. And of course, the United States did not want to tell us much about this flying object. I feel like they know a lot already, but they just don't want to let the American people know. Now, it does say that the White House National Security Council spokesman John Kirby said it was unclear what the purpose of the origin of the new object was, but said that it was taken down because floating at 40,000 feet, it was a threat to civil aviation. Now, the president ordered the military to shoot down this particular object on Friday. A uh, question about the incident by reporters at the White House, Biden said shoot down was a success. But anyways, guys, uh, like I said, we don't know any information about this. Uh, the particular object did go ahead and fall over the Arctic Ocean, which is pretty much frozen right now. So uh, the U.S. and United States team, military teams, has gone to that location to try to uh, recover some of the debris from this particular flying object. And hopefully we will get some more information about this very, very soon. But anyways, guys, uh, it looks like we are getting closer to having aliens visiting us more often as more people could to can as more people continue to report of sightings of different UFOs or other objects in the sky in which they pretty much shoot off at these rapid speeds that no one else can pretty much follow with a camera, uh, it looks like it is coming to fruition for some of you out there that really like the idea of having aliens knocking at your doors. But anyways, guys, uh, that's what we have right now in regards to this flying object. And guys, look what we are dealing with as of today. 2023, we have had two random flying objects flying over the United States. But anyways, guys, I'll keep you posted once we receive new data on this information. Uh, moving on, guys. Hey, we do want to talk about President Biden. You know, he had a State of the Union earlier this week, and uh, the Republicans and other people as well are saying that he had a lot of lies that he told during the State of the Union. And yes, guys, of course, one particular writer, Alfreda Ortez, decided to write about all of the lies that President Biden spoke to the American people. And I definitely wanted to share this with you guys because it is very interesting on how to see how you can actually twist your words where they appear that they are sort of true, but then they are not necessarily true all the way 100%. But anyways, guys, I'll let you be the judge of that. But let's just briefly go over these real quick, guys. It says that President Biden's State of the Union address was full of lies and mistruths. They betray the disparate they betrayed the desperation of the president with 38% job approval on the economy and 16% of the population better off than before he took office and most of his own party wanting a different White House nominee in 2024. But anyways, here are the seven biggest lies from President Biden during the State of the Union. The first one is take home pay 
has gone up. Yes, that is one of the statements that he said in the State of the Union. And as he talked about pay going up for uh, different people during his administration. But the real answer is what they're saying right here is that real wages have actually fallen every single month for nearly two straight years under the Biden administration as historic inflation continues to swamp every single American as well as non-Americans in this country. And according to the latest data, annual inflation is rising 50% faster than average wages in the past. But anyways, guys, number two, it says that uh, we have created a record of 12 million new jobs in his administration. Well, yes, 12 million jobs was uh, started back up as a new job while he was the president president of the country. However, a lot of those jobs were just people getting backfilled from the jobs that they lost during the pandemic. So do you really count those as new jobs? Because it's technically an old job that just got picked back up once again. So anyways, it depends on how you look at it, guys. Uh, number three, he said that, look, I have presided over the largest deficit reduction in American history. Again, Biden is trying to take advantage of the moderation from the unique pandemic baseline in which they previously had a huge amount of money involved because of the uh, trillions of dollars for the pandemic. But now that that has gone, he is taking credit for that because basically he reduced, what, $1.7 trillion from the deficit, uh, something like that. But that was all because they have taken away the pandemic. So can you really count that? I don't know, guys. You let me know what you think about that. Uh, number four, it says that two years ago, our economy was reeling. President Trump presided over the fastest economic recovery in American history with the economy expanding by 11% in his last six months in office. But unfortunately, instead of simply continuing Trump's policies and riding his coattails to a rapid resurgence, Biden sees the opportunity to pass several trillion dollars worth of unnecessary spending that fueled historic inflation, putting a tremendous burden on small businesses, owners, and ordinary Americans. So again, uh, yes, guys, you can say that it was reeling, but technically Technically, not necessarily, guys. But anyways, number five, it says that oil companies have invested too little of their profit to increase domestic production and keep gas prices down. But according to the data, it is saying right here that according to Biden, he has pretty much, he has issued the fewest amount of drilling permits since the end of World War II. And as a result, oil production is still very low right now than before the pandemic and gas prices are far much higher. So again, yes, you got to read the fine print, guys. You can't necessarily listen to anybody in politics right now, guys. And then number six, it says that now, thanks to all that we have done, we're exporting American products. Well, the same day of the State of the Union, the government released 2022 trade figures showing the country hit a record trade deficit of almost $1 trillion last year. That's up 12.2% compared to 2021. Precisely the opposite of what the Biden administration is telling the American people. And then number seven, the wealthy don't pay their fair share. Well, yes, guys, uh, it seems to make it into every Trump speech, but it couldn't be farther from the truth. The top 1% of the highest earning Americans pay nearly 50% of the nation's income taxes about twice their share of national income, according to the Wallet Hub analysis. Now, I do know exactly what Biden is talking about right here. He is talking about because of all the tax loopholes and things like that, that millionaires are able to take advantage of. It actually lowers the actual percentage of the amount of money that you pay towards your taxes. So for example, if you made $3 billion and then if you made $100,000 and the, the three billion dollars your tax rate was eight percent but yet and still the person that goes to work every day that makes one hundred thousand dollars their tax rate is twenty percent so he, that's what he's talking about as far as uh the one percent of wealthy people don't pay their fair share but anyways guys like i said those are the biggest lies from the state of the union from president biden i definitely want to know and get your take on uh these particular lies guys what do you think about this did you watch the state of the union i definitely watched it myself and it was rather unique uh seeing the different people react towards the president, uh, not giving him respect and all. But anyways, guys, I want to get your take on this. Let me know down below in the comment section, guys, what you think about the biggest lies from President Biden. Uh, but anyways, guys, moving on, we do want to talk about Social Security because of one of the top Republicans uh, we're pretty much calling to wipe away entitlement programs. And yes, guys, we are talking about Rick Scott, 
Previously, he talked about a plan that he had that would basically sunset Social Security. Uh, yes, and ended up getting into the speech from President Biden during the State of the Union. And guess what, guys? Republicans were not happy about it. And in fact, when President Biden brought it up and said that some people on the colleagues on the other side talked about sunsetting Social Security, all of the Republicans started standing up and saying that that is not true. You're a liar and you need to stop saying this. None of the Republicans are in agreement with this. Well, guys, the new information has come out and we are finding out that this is particularly Rick Scott's plan in regards to Social Security and Medicare. And they are saying that if you can see right here that Mitch McConnell, he is pretty much saying that that sunsetting Social Security and Medicare, that is pretty much a Rick Scott plan only. No one else. No one else is in agreement with this particular plan that was proposed by Rick Scott. Well, like I said, Republicans are very upset that President Biden talked about this during the State of the Union and basically put him on the spot. Right. And anyways, guys, I guess Rick Scott wanted to redeem himself. And guess what he did on Friday? Well, he came out with a new Social Security plan, guys. Yes. Rick Scott announced a new Social Security Medicare bill amid the Biden feud in regards to this information. Now, Senator Rick Scott announced a new bill on Friday to increase funding for Social Security and Medicare and institute a higher standard for making cuts to the entitlement programs following President Biden's pointed accusations during his annual address before Congress on Tuesday. Now, he said in a statement that, look, I have been fighting since day one to protect and preserve programs like Social Security and Medicare for Florida's seniors. And today I am proud to announce new legislation, my Protect Our Seniors Act, to safeguard the benefits of these critical entitlements. Guys, first off, what do you think about that name? Protect Our Seniors Act. Let me know down below in the comment section, guys. It actually has a pretty nice twing to it. But anyways, it says that the legislation aims to rescind the nearly $80 billion in funding for internal revenue service that was approved last year in the Inflation Reduction Act and then redirect some of that money towards Social Security and Medicare. Yes, the IRS funding has been frequent target of Republicans who have denounced it as creating an army of 87,000 IRS agents. Now, this particular bill by Rick Scott that has been introduced just less than 24 hours ago, the bill would also require that any cuts to Social Security or Medicare be approved by two thirds vote in Congress and would block Medicare savings from being used for other spending initiatives. So far, it is unclear how this legislation fits in with Scott's previous proposal. I'm sure it does not, which has been at the center of the recent dispute with President Biden, as well as with the other Democrats. So again, guys, uh, that's what we have a little bit of a brief on regards to what this particular Social Security program is entailing. I'm sure we will receive more information here very soon as far as the details of this bill. Like I said, he just announced it on Friday and now uh, other lawmakers are going to be receiving that bill to go ahead and read through it to figure out exactly what Rick Scott is proposing. So anyways, guys, I'm sure we'll get more information on this within a couple of days or so, and I will bring the more details back to you. But anyways, guys, what do you think about all of these lies that President Biden is telling us? And then Social Security and Medicare? Guys, you know that we need to keep these programs. We can't do away with it. It is too late. We've already promised the American people that we will have this for them when they retire and continue to pay these benefits forever until you die. So what do we have to do, guys? We can't just kill the program. We have to continue on for many, many years. And that is exactly what government needs to do. But anyways, guys, I want to get your take on it. Let me know down below in the comment section. But anyways, hey, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this information. Well, anyways, guys, hey, that's all I have for you today, but feel free to check out some of the links down below because there are a few offers that are great for you to be able to support this channel for free, as well as how you can get the Amazon Prime membership for free for 30 days. Also, a few other things as well, so be sure to check those out. But anyways, if you enjoy today's content and you want to see more, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And if you like today's video, then go ahead and hit the like button for us. It really helps out this channel as well as it tells YouTube to share this video with others. But anyways, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching, and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.